Not only did the mortals conquer Troy, they defeated Scarmelione. I struggle to believe it. They were aided by one of our world, who transformed Starmalini's soul into crystal. Crystal? This one speaks of Memoria. <laughs> now there's something I've not heard for an age. Gonna bring a pang of nostalgia to my breast and a tear to my eye. <laughs> And yet Scarmelione still does not answer. Were he alive, he would have returned by now. Weakest though he was, his ability to regenerate was without peer. <laughs> if this account is true, if a memoriat has survived, they cannot be suffered to live. Leave this matter to me, Lord Golbez. I, Barbaricia, shall strike down any who pose a threat to our plans. Tis true, you are a proven commander, well suited to leading an assault. And when I have succeeded, I would beg a boon of you. What do you desire? The dragon's ether. All that remains. The insolence. No place. With respect. My locks are free as the wind, without incentive to sway me. I know not whither they will blow. Hmm. Boldly spoken. I trust you will not disappoint me. Upon this flowing hair and my immortal soul, I will not fail. Go, and impress upon these interlopers the futility of defiance. My lord. She's brought her domain with her. The Archfiend's after you and yours, I shouldn't doubt. Perhaps you should go and find them. But be warned, whatever this is about, do not expect us to get involved. I can't bear it! Eating and being eaten! I only want to be left in peace! You and me both. One of the Archfiends approaches. They must have been tracking our movements. She's here.
Excellent. You've saved me the trouble of traveling to Troia. So you're Barbariccia. Mind your manners, mortal. My name is not to be spoken, save in reverence and fear. And what is this pitiful domain? Pitiful wretches all. I will put you out of your misery. Scarmiglione, and good riddance. Felled by outsiders in pursuit of what? Pray tell. A dragon, one who crossed to this world thousands of years ago. Know you aught of it? <laughs> A dragon, you say? <laughs> My Lord Golbez is more clever than I realized. To let the prize live, that it might lure more prey to us. Very well. In gratitude and service, I shall devour every last mote of their souls. Where is she? Where is Ashdaya? Huh. You even share its scent. How curious, and irresistible. Uh, if you think us easy prey, you're wrong. Unlike Scarmiglione, I need not skulk in shadow to claim what is mine. If you would know about the dragon you seek, then enter into my domain. You may flee instead if you wish, if the fate of the sorry lot here is of no concern to you. One way or another, I will have satisfaction. What's the plan, then? Indeed. Yet she will have the upper hand in her domain. We must be no less than fully prepared. We find her and get our answers. Will you be joining us, Zero? You may be easily goaded into accepting her challenge, but my curiosity is not so insatiable as to cloud my judgment. Nevertheless, if you are desperate for my aid, you know my price. I shall pay it. So long as you leave me strength enough to see my sister home, you may take as much as you wish. And lest you forget, mine is no ordinary ether. Barbariccia too recognized its potency. Very well. We have a bargain. 